Hey guys, in this episode of The City, we get to explore the Loch Laurent Conservancy, an awesome feature of our West Bend Park System. Thanks, Courtney, for joining us today and informing our viewers a little more about Loch Laran. Can you tell us the history of it and your history with the City of West Bend? Sure. My history is that I've been here a little over a year uh, working for the City of West Bend as the Conservation Supervisor for Loch Laran Conservancy. And the history behind the Conservancy is there was a couple, Ann and Lawrence Marin, who originally purchased 20 acres on the property back in 1955. I mean, it was a dump at one time and they planted native plants. And in 1979 donated the land to the city of West Bend where it became a city of West Bend Park. We now currently have 145 acres at the Conservancy that we maintain. Could you tell us a little bit more about the trail system that's here? We've got six different trails right now. We have some hillier types of trails. We have boardwalks here that take you out onto the, the water so if you want to look for frogs, fish, waterfowl, we have groomed trails for cross-country skiing in the winter that our parks crew takes care for us that the city helps maintain and our volunteers. Tell us about the unique partnership between the Friends of Loch Laran and you, you mentioned the city parks crew that helps out here as well, yourself being a city employee. Can you tell us about that unique partnership that maintained this place? We do have a Friends board here that is very involved and works side by side with the city. The Friends group was actually incorporated in the early 1990s and began raising funds to build our nature center, the Marin Center, through their efforts and grant writing and support from a lot of community groups, raised $1.2 million for the facility. The Friends Group then uh, is charged with raising funds to help maintain the property, to help maintain the trails, and other components of the property, clean up spaces such as this in the shelter here. This shelter here used to be the site of the Marin's house as a place to get away from the city and camp. And when they retired, they moved out here permanently. Sadly, it had fallen into disrepair. So the building was removed and this shelter constructed for those that had been, memorials that had been made to the Friends Group and acknowledgement of our volunteers. We have our land stewards that help maintain the grounds that are here on Wednesdays. And during spring to fall months, second Saturday stewards program, they come out and help with maintaining the trails. Your role as conservation supervisor or naturalist for this facility is expanding. Can you tell us about what kind of future programs our constituents might expect? When you come to the Conservancy, you will notice on our trail signs and our kiosk there will be QR codes and that's a historical project so you're going to learn a little bit about the history of the property. We also have a bird box initiative program coming up. In both projects I'm working with the ArcGIS department creating mapping so you will be able to when you come out here and hike and have a bird box map that will show you all the locations on the property. We had a, a grant that we got when we had our goats out here. <laughs> goats? Why are there goats at Lac La <laughs> They're not here anymore. I miss them but um, we had goats last year. Um, twice out here that helped eat our invasive species and then we planted trees in the area that they came and treated for us but our next trees that we'll be planting our oaks will be out in the pine plantation so that will be another really nice transformation and we'll go along with our QR code project to see kind of the before the during and the after because it's going to be evolved into prairie and an oak savanna. One day you can be in the prairie, next day you're on an esker, the following day you're in a hardwood forest, then you're in a pine plantation. I mean you're it feels like it's like four different parks when you're here because it's so diverse. My favorite part about the job is carrying on Ann and Lawrence's legacy. I really feel like they would be really proud of us and what we've done. 